just to stick with uh, New Zealand, who sort of set the tone for this tournament with their victory against Australia. But yet again, Joy, no matter which format of the game you look at, World Cup comes around, they sneak into the top four. Always. Always. And that, see, there's a reason for that. That's because they play as a side, they play with a lot of long-term objectives and they don't mess around with selection. I mean, the point is that most teams do it, so they retain faith with the player far longer than most teams do. One of the reasons for that is that their talent pools are not as big normally as other countries. But also, with whatever little talent, with whatever 3.5 or 4 million people and whoever they can tempt out from South Africa or other places, they manage to make a game of it. And I think that's the important thing with New Zealand. So, consistency in selection, consistently in backing, again, calmness. We come back to that same point. What happens? You go for 13 and 16. Your spinners go for 13 and 16. You said you go back immediately? No, they don't. They said, look, these guys will get them. These are smart guys, they'll make. And both of them get a wicket. First ball. First ball, yeah, absolutely amazing. So, I think that's what, when you have tournaments like the World Cup, where consistency is key, where you need teams to be united, New Zealand always punch above their weight. Always. Michael, if you have to look at this New Zealand team compared to teams over the years, if, um, you know, there have been some New Zealand teams with a lot of stars and sometimes without, but yet the net result when they get into the top four in such tournaments seems to be the same. Yeah, absolutely. And that, that, that comes down to, um, you know, I think their, their mindset towards the game is excellent. Um, I always feel that New Zealand strategically will play a good game. You know, I don't think they're ever far wrong in terms of balancing their side out properly. Um, tactically, I always feel they're pretty close. You know, they're never that far away. You never watch New Zealand, oh, what they're doing there. They're always there or thereabouts. I think they maximise every ounce of ability that they have in the side. I think they're a team that probably talks through every situation. Um, so they know exactly what to do in every situation uh, and also they've got a lot of experience. They've got players that have played in many World Cups now. They they know how to win, they know how to get to this stage, they know how to get to the fours and they obviously got to the final last time. Um, I'll say this now, I mean, um, enjoy, uh, don't 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 talk down a team that uses other countries' players to come and help them. <laughs> There's another team that does that quite, <laughs> quite often as well. <laughs> Um, but if there was an, if there was an, obviously I want England to win the World Cup, but there was one team that I'd love to see lift a trophy and that would be New Zealand. I just think the way that they play, the spirit in which they play cricket, um, everything around New Zealand cricket for, for many, many years now has been uh, right right out of the top drawer in terms of the, the way that, and, and the ethos around, around that, that team. So if there was one team that I would like to win a World Cup away from an England side, it'd be New Zealand. And then they're just now two wins away. Can they produce two performances? Uh, they're back on the track. I think they just stumbled in the last couple of games. And then today, uh, we saw a, pretty much a, 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 not a perfect performance because they'd like to finish better with the bat to get beyond 200. But it was near on perfect to give them some confidence of uh, playing well in those semi-finals. 